Yo, what's good, everybody? Japing checking the line, man. RespectMyRegion.com. Back with another Turp Check interview. Today's journey brought to you guys by Trees and Bada Boom. I'm very excited to have a guest today by the name of Meredith Free. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well, man. We smoked a Packwoods infused blunt earlier, and I'm still high. We've been taking some dabs from our friends Bada Bloom. Bada Bloom. And I've got a I've got a very special guest today and I'm, that I'm excited to have on because you are a cannabis activist. You're a mother and what you put a lot of time and energy into is smashing the stigma of cannabis, right? That's true. Yeah. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Massachusetts. If you do all those things here, then you are involved heavily in the community. Yeah. Right. You're advocating. You're supporting the other people with the right messages. Right. Yep. And you're trying to change change things as well. Add impact. Right. Yeah. So. What do you do? What do you spend your time doing here in cannabis? I spend my time cultivating relationships. Yep. I mean, cultivation is the basis of the plan, right? And so by cultivating individual relationships, I get to know each person, what they bring to the industry, how important their role is in creating a robust industry that wow. we'll all succeed in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and by forming our community, we're letting everybody else in the world know we're here, we matter. And we're legal, and you should in, invite us into the pool. Absolutely. Dot connecting. People like you are huge in this space because when you connect other people, you help people connect missions, or even just being... Uh, a, so we met last night because you were helping with the event. Yes, Betsy. And just helping, helping in those capacities are, are huge. Uh, my brand has been around 13 years since. So it's been around a long time. There's been a lot of community supporters like that in the different regions where we all operate. And so I appreciate that kind of effort. But there is often not enough events because there's often not enough help for these events. Not only is money tough to come by, but just bodies to do things is hard. So I appreciate you helping my friends, Jake and Rich, last night yeah. and the Sensi fam. Shout out to Sensi for including us in the last evening. What a great event last night. It was fans. Rock and party, right? It was. Well, man. Over 250 people walked through the door. Wow. Artists were represented. We had a wellness section. Yes. The top floor had this beautiful artwork. And there was, uh, I want to say, like, uh, was it a sound? Was it a sound bath? What was? Yeah, there was a sound bath going on here. Yeah, there were just yoga. There was holistic things and yoga stuff. It was just overall good energy. I don't always participate in all that. I'm more of a private individual for that part of my life. Okay. But when I'm out in public around it, it does bring about a different vibe. And that's and it's calming and, and more peaceful. It's like that. Sh it's a library. <laughs> sh there's cool, calming, creative, good energy flowing here. Chill out. You know, right. I felt like that was definitely a bullet in full power. So offline before the interview, we talked a little bit about your background. Talk to me about what got you into cannabis. What were you doing before? And what was that transition like into what you do today? So I was a municipal lawyer for over a decade. Wow. And I actually had a very terrible encounter with shingles. Okay. And I developed most of the heralds are from it, which I still experience to this day. Wow. For the dual pain that doesn't stop. Oh, um, my God. So... I was on a pharmaceutical roller coaster with a lot of different doctors, and I met Dr. Ryan Zacklin, who is a cannabis doctor in Salem, and cannabis saved my life. Wow. I cultivate it now, and I'm off all of those pharmaceuticals. Wow. It's amazing. And I have my life again, and I can manage my pain and be a good mom and be a good coworker and be productive and still have wonderful conversations. I'm huge in activism. Yeah. I really think that regulations need to be trimmed to make this space more inclusive and more even for everybody to participate in. And just to help smash the stigma even more, Absolutely. I feel like a lot of the regulations tend to perpetuate the stigma that has been pervasive in our society for so long. 100%. So that's my job. So part, of, <laughs> part of smashing the stigma is normalizing. That's right? right. That's a big chunk of it. Yeah. Some people would say that's what it's all about, but there's a lot more facets to the stigma, right? There's this human element. There's a product element. There's this business part. Yeah. There's this pharmaceutical corporation world of 
the system of our government in America, all these things. So a lot of it's over my head. A lot of it's over most people's heads. Let's be honest, right? Well, it's a perpetual education. Yes. Yeah. I mean, my job as an ambassador of cannabis mm -hmm. is to educate everybody around me to understand how beneficial it is and why it should be so accepted. Absolutely. And it's not for everybody, just like everything in this world isn't for everybody. Absolutely. It Absolutely. Don't, it will work for us. And cannabis works for a lot of people and it should be available. I would in every I agree. I'm a patient myself. Kidney stones, numerous times, Crohn's, IBS. Oh. My insides hurt in a different way than most people's. Just right. not a, not even remotely similar to yours, but in the similar way that we're different from most people. Right. We're irregular compared to most people. Cannabis, RSO products, the different uh, tinctures, the different things that can help us from an inside out perspective right. are huge. Topicals are great for certain things. Edibles are good. Not necessarily if there's a lot of sugar in them, but they're great you know, for, for a lot of different things, mm -hmm. right? But what I, what I really want to focus on is what you, what you, what do you have as a term? So I turf check people and it's always like, what are you normally smoking? You're a real patient. I am. So what's in a real patient's bag? All right, so I have a few things. I have pre-rolls. This is my home grow. It's all okay. Tea. Oh, so you're smoking some OG. Yeah. Okay, we like that. I'm West Coast. I like it. I yeah. like it. Um, it's from Humboldt Sea Company. Nice. I also have my handy little box. This side, when I have a full harvest, is full of flour. Yeah, look at it. I only have the pre rolls. You got them organized. Um, I do. And then the other side. I like Chris. It looks like a little tackle box. Oh, yeah. I have hash. I have a chill. Um, all the things you need. Absolutely. For when you need to medicate. That's right. On the go. That's right. I love it. See, a true, a true stoner medical patient's offering. Yeah. Right, right there. I love it. Thank you for sharing. I wanted to give you the opportunity to i see you do dab i do our episode sponsor today is bottle bloom we've got our friends Woo mike shout out to to re over here yeah and we've got a to mike and ta we have a free loaded dab for you right. there we go of their hash nice so big shout out to tara their entire team yeah and i hope you enjoy this dab yeah. powered by bottle bloom I wait for the buzz, right? Yes. Okay. I just pushed it. Oh, there, there it is. And now it's took it. Shout out like hash lovers, the rosin. We shout out to the team of Bottle Blue. Got some delicious rosin. We were smoking some purple yellow banana or something. That was crazy. What are your thoughts right now? Oh, it tastes delicious. Such smells. Usually I cough really bad when I do devils and, and not out there. You the low temp nature. Big shout out to our hardware provider today. Right? Carta came through a couple months ago, shot us over one of these focus devices. Definitely a wonderful experience. Turp check. Yeah. Pass it the test. We definitely pass it. We've got Meredith Free here. This episode today powered by Trees and Bottom Blue. We'll see you guys next. I'm JP. Flower Expo 2024. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.